Welcome to part two of the Cricut College Pride t-shirt tutorial brought to you by Lightspeed. We left off going through how to upload the image into Cricut, into your project. So here I already have the image that I want to use and I resized it. I made it a little bigger because my shirt's a little bigger. So this is going to be different depending on your needs and the size of the shirt that you have, whether you want it in the front or in the back. So this is in inches, so it's 6 inches by 4.3 inches here. And the image is already processed, so it's really already ready to go. So the next thing you want to do is just click Make It. And when it comes to using iron on vinyl, you're going to want to make sure that it's mirrored. So it says right here, mirror. And it even uh, gives you this information when you click the I. Turn on mirror for iron on projects and materials that are placed face down like leather. So you're going to want to turn this on here. And it's going to mirror the image for you. And it's ready to cut. So you're just going to hit continue. And then you're going to want to make sure that your machine is connected. If you have already connected your Cricut to your computer, your device should show up here. You just want to make sure that the Cricut is on and it should appear here. If you have never connected your Cricut to your computer, you're going to want to go into your Bluetooth settings, make sure that the Cricut is on. And here I just Hit open Bluetooth preferences. The Cricut Air 2 should appear here and we're just going to hit connect. And there you go. It says connected. We're going to go back to our Cricut design window and hit Air 2. And it has connected. Sometimes it asks for a password for the Cricut Explore 2, it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, so 0 4 times. You're going to want to change the dial here and put it on the correct setting. Most of the time, you can just get away with leaving it on iron on. Putting the material on the sticky mat is super simple. Firstly, you want to make sure that you remove any film that the iron-on vinyl comes with. Here I'm just peeling it off at the corner and removing it. You also want to refer to the instructions on your product, whatever it came with, to see what side should be facing up. Lastly, you just want to align it to the grid, place it in, smooth it out, and make sure you don't have any bumps and you're all set. To feed the mat into the Cricut, you just want to make sure you put the mat under the little notches it has. Push a little with a little bit of pressure and just hit the little arrows and it'll accept the mat. Starting the cut is super simple. You're just going to hit the blinking C and the Cricut will start cutting out your design. Once the cut is done, you're going to hit the blinking arrows to eject the mat. Weeding out the design is actually my favorite part. It takes the most time and it's probably the most tedious, but it's very relaxing. So what I like to do is peel off the cut from the sticky mat and just use scissors to cut out the design in a rough shape. So I'm just going to cut out a rectangle here. Once you cut out the rectangle, I'm going to use this weeding tool 
made by Cricut just to start taking out all the vinyl that I don't need. And I usually start at the corner to get out the biggest piece surrounding the cut. This takes a little practice and you do have to be careful when you're pulling because you may pull off little details of the design that you do want to keep. You're going to continue like this and when you want to remove little pieces of vinyl you can use the Cricut tool to remove them easily and always start at the corner and it should lift up the little pieces. After weeding out my design, which took about 10 minutes, I was left with the finished product on the clear plastic. So now what I want to do is just place the design on the shirt and try to align it and center it the best I can. Oftentimes I'll take a step back and look at the design, see if it's actually centered. And if it isn't, I have to remove it and replace it on the shirt. Once I'm happy where the design is, I'll go ahead and use this sheet that came with the iron-on vinyl that I purchased from Amazon. It's basically just a Teflon sheet and it just distributes the heat evenly. On the iron, you might have to play with the settings a little bit. I usually leave mine in between cotton and wool. And I'm going to leave the iron on each section of design for about 10 seconds. And then what I like to do is just to go over the design once more and then I just remove the Teflon sheet. And you do want to be careful because it might be hot. We want to let it cool down a little bit. And once it's cool to the touch, you can go ahead and pull off the plastic, revealing the finished iron-on design. You want to go slow here because you don't want to pull off any elements of the design from your shirt. Once you peel off the plastic, you are all done and this is your finished product. You want to refer to the instructions on your iron-on vinyl packaging just to see if you have to wait 24 hours or more to wash your shirt after applying the vinyl. There is your finished product and thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned to other Lightspeed videos.